Good morning, MCC. Uh, the last few days we've been talking about uh, developing our story, um, more specifically, uh, recognizing how powerful our story can be, especially if we allow Jesus to be the main character and developing our story while emphasizing Jesus as that main character and what he's done for us and in our lives. Um, and so today, uh, today's probably going to be a little bit shorter and sweeter, I guess. Uh, maybe not sweeter because it's actually... It's actually kind of hard, right? Because because at some point, it's not just about developing our story, but it's actually about sharing our story, which is tough and it's challenging. But especially at this time of year, you know, it's the Christmas season. I mean, every year we see in churches that, that all kinds of people come back to church during Christmas. I mean, probably more than any other time in the year, it's Christmas when they, they choose to come back. And, and it's something about the power of Christmas and, and, and what it means to us that people seem to be more receptive and more open to hearing about who Jesus is, who God is, um, and who, they, who Jesus and God can be to them. And so now is, is a good time to practice that, what we've been working on the last couple of days and sharing it with our friends, with our family, with our coworkers. And I know that can be scary, but let's jump into uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1. And uh, this is starting in verse 6, going through partway uh, of verse 9, but it just says this. For the, spirit God, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but rather it makes us powerful. It gives us love and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. I mean, how incredible is that? Like, seriously, that is awesome. Like, like the spirit that God has given us, right? The Holy Spirit. If you've accepted Christ, your Lord and Savior, you're fallen after him. You have the Holy Spirit in your life, which means you don't have to be timid. You don't have to be scared because it has filled you with power and with love and with self-discipline. And he's, he's done so because of his own purpose and because of his grace that we get to experience that. And we get to have that on our side. So I think the way that we can live on mission today is by doing just that. I mean, you call, call, make this a call to action, whatever it is that you want to say. But we've been talking about our story the last few days. What better time than now to share it? So go and do that.